So that's all coming up in a few moments. But first, I'd like you to put your hands together, please, for one of this country's most sought-after comedians and after-dinner speakers, it says here. We're very fortunate to have him here this evening, as tomorrow he's off to do a fabulous season in Turkey. Please welcome Dave Wolf. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Des. Okay, Des. It's okay. Des, with that hair set, I could be your love child. <laughs> Des Lynham, who's has not always wanted to be a, a TV presenter, m m present, many years ago, he wanted to be an actor, he wanted to be a thespian after he saw this film from Holland. <laughs> and Des, as a young man, he actually went to RADA and he studied there for five years and he was brilliant. And his first job out of RADA, it's all flooding back now, isn't it, Des? His first job was with the Royal Shakespeare Company at the National Theatre, playing the lead role in Hamlet. And but for that one mistake, he would probably have been a big star in Hollywood to this day, having his photograph taken by the police. And anyone can make one mistake. And I've read that Hamlet, and it definitely says, enter Ophelia from the rear. <laughs> and the bloke playing Ophelia, he wasn't happy, was he, Des? <laughs> but Des is a great friend. Um, not of mine. Um, <laughs> well, I first met him many years ago. We played golf together in Liverpool at, at Royal Toxteth. Um, <laughs> golf and Country Club. And <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't play very well that day. In fact, he only hit two good balls. He stood on a rake. And these two women got in front of us, and he had the ump, because they wouldn't let us pass. He said, I'm going bloody telling them. And he stormed down the fairway, got them 50 yards, turned on his heel, he came back, he said, I can't tell them. I said, why not then, Des? He said, well, one's a wife, one's this bit of stuff I've been seeing on a Friday night. I said, don't worry about it, Des, I'll sort it. I went down the fairway, I came back, I said, bloody hell, it's a small world, isn't it? <laughs> but... But he's got a lovely house, and... Um, I've just got back, I was in Saudi Arabia, I met a chap over there, I just had his hands sewn back on, he won his appeal. <laughs> I took my wife on holiday to Bangkok, uh, Thailand, and I got charged 300 quid corkage. I don't want to worry, but there's not enough lifeboats. Um, <laughs> this morning I went to the vets. He said, say, ah. I said, why? He said, your dog's dead. <laughs> I've strolled down from Manchester today. I broke down and I said to this fellow, have you got any jump leads? And he gave me three phone numbers in Birmingham. <laughs> This morning I had a dreadful asthmatic attack. These four asthmatics jumped out from behind this bush. <laughs> I should have heard him in the bush, really, shouldn't I? <laughs> I had three thoughts at breakfast time. Help me out. Thought number one. If you were to drop a piece of buttered toast off the breakfast table, which side down will it always land? Buttered. Why is that? Do you know? Sod's law. Correct. Thought number two. If you were to gently shove a cat out of a first floor window, <laughs> gently, which side down will it always land? Feet, correct. Thought number three, if you were to strap a piece of buttered toast to the back of a cat, <laughs> they'd be fighting all the way down, wouldn't they? Last summer I was in Blackpool, I was in season. I still am. <laughs> it's a place to go for your holidays, a golden mile and all the trams. A little old lady came up to me and said, if I put my foot on that tram line there, 
Will I get a shock? I said, you will if you cut the other leg over that wire.